I'm Nick Macon. I'm the School Business Manager of Isgol Harry Didier, Henry Tudor School in South Pembrokeshire. So the school is a comprehensive school. It's state funded. So we get all our funding through the local authority. The role is about 1,250 and it goes from year seven to year 13. So that's up to and including sixth form. The project for the school delivers three screens, one 85 inch, which is in our refectory, and two 65 inch screens, one in reception and one in the sixth form. What this programme offers to us as, as teachers, teachers everywhere, is an amazing resource to bring the galleries into your classrooms is, is a gift and it has the potential to really blow apart the, the, the horizons of so many young people, especially where we are in, in these far-flung corners. It makes it accessible and I know people have said that time and time again but making it accessible to our students, making them realise that this is something that is, it's, there, it's not that far beyond their reach and it gives them the goal to actually see it live as, as you like. So it's that inspirational sort of uh, moment of this is really exciting, one day I would like to see it for real. Probably the most important factor is the, the location where the school is. We are on a good day with the wind behind us, five hours by train to London, two and a half hours by car to Cardiff. And when you're driving from the east to Pembroke, at the end of the M4, you've probably got another hour and a half to drive. So we are so far away from the Tate and the free galleries in the southeast of England. If we can bring something here, then that, that counters that quite nicely. To have such high quality images in school every day, not just for those who are doing art as a subject area, but for everybody to enjoy, is really, really important. It's starting the conversations and it's really lovely whilst on duty to be perhaps sitting back watching the students in the canteen, watching them, watching the screen, looking at their faces, hearing some of the conversations and then the questions that they'll come and, come and ask. When the screens appeared, when, when I was first sitting at the table with my friends, we were like, what is that? What's that there for? And um, we'd look at the paintings, sometimes we'd giggle at them, and like, it, it was like, quite nice. We were just like, wow, that's quite cool, actually. I wish I had this when I was in Year 10. It would have made my GCSE a lot easier, finding different artists that's just right there by me. Every day I definitely glance at it and have a look and just see what's going on because it does interest me. It's going to inspire a lot of kids, especially if they're doing art, so I think it's a good thing. A lot of kids are getting involved and they're seeing these arts and you know they're, they're wanting to go home and do it. And I do think it's positive, so I think it's a good programme to keep going, you know. I feel like everyone sort of deserves to see all these different kinds of art on screens like that, especially sort of displayed, so big, bright and bold up on the screens like we do. They do just catch your eye and they're just like, wow, that's really nice and I'd really like to sort of maybe try doing something like that of my own. We had a very fun afternoon looking at images and recreating with some of our students. The students found it really, really exciting to look at these artworks and to look at how they could recreate them themselves. So the challenge that was set by Sensations, they really picked that up and ran with it. Then looking at work in a way they wouldn't have had normally, looking in detail at the composition uh, and looking at how they could find and create that themselves. Uh, it was joyous to watch because they were really, really engaged and it is something that we would not have done without the sensations kick-starting that. 
It's made it very accessible to everybody and takes away that fear of having to pick up a paintbrush, having to pick up a pencil, possibly being judged on how good you are, and they just lost themselves in creating the works. The school is just so much more than a place of education. It is a community service in many ways. And, and this is part of that. It's enhancing the environment that those learners are, are in. It's a never-ending program. Every day, a fresh artwork. Every week, a new exhibition. At least three art challenges a year. And the teachers know that it's coming and how to program it in. The end result, which we've measured across all our schools from the program this spring and summer, proves that it's all going in. Imagine that this program can do this in a handful of schools with 4,000 students. Imagine if we could take this to a million students. Well, because of the technology, we are able to aspire to do that and do it very efficiently because we're using technology to distribute the programs. It's just a question now of funding. And in conclusion, I would reiterate our war cry, great art for all children all the time. <laughs>